Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari and in the series of Evidence Act, we were discussing chapter 5 which is all about documentary evidence. This is covered between section 61 to section 90A and in this we have divided this chapter into four different pillars and the first pillar is all about the primary and secondary evidences covered between section 61 to 66. We have already covered till section 65U and here in this session I am going to cover the section 66 which is all about notice to be given for secondary evidence. Now this is a continuation section to section 65U clause A. So it becomes very important to understand section 65U A or kind of revision and then get into section 66. How are we approaching? First, I will show you two beautiful chart to understand section 65A and section 66 and then I will also give the notes as far as section 66 provision is concerned. Not taking much of your time, let's get into business. First thing first, let us revise section 65A. Under section 65U, there are seven circumstances discussed where we can give secondary evidence and the first one that is section 65 a says secondary evidence may be given when the original is with okay we can give secondary evidence if the original is with now there are four different scenarios one the original is with the person against whom we are trying to produce such evidence now that person will not definitely give because once we get it we will prove it against him if that original is with him in that case secondary evidence can be produced the second scenario when it is with any person who is out of reach of the court in that case we can give secondary evidence in the place of primary evidence and the third one if the original is with any person who is not subject to the court if such person is not subject to the court in that case also secondary evidence may be given and lastly any person legally bound to produce it now this original with mr xyz who is legally bound to produce it in front of the court and he is being already served notice as mentioned under section 66 that is what we are going to learn now even after giving notice if such person is not producing original evidence in that case secondary evidence may be given now these are the four places where if the person who is having the document is not giving the document to the court their secondary evidence is okay but the one main condition required here is we have to give a notice as mentioned under section 66 so it becomes very important for us to understand section 66 which is the heart of today's discussion. Now let's move to the second chart to understand section 66. Before getting into the chart, remember one very important aspect which I will again explain when we are reading the provision. Section 66 is applicable on section 65 clause A. That is what we need to remember. When there is scenarios as discussed under section 65 a if someone is trying to give secondary evidence to the court, there they can give secondary evidence to the court only after giving notice to such party or party's attorney or pleader. Only after giving notice if such primary evidence is not available then the secondary evidence may be given that is all about section 66 now there are six exceptions available under section 66 and they are when the document to be proved is itself is a notice now this is very interesting the primary evidence itself is the notice as discussed under section 66 but there if the party is not producing that in that case secondary evidence may be given the second one is when from the nature of the case the adverse party must know that he will be required to produce it now the adverse party knows that there is a particular document which needs to be produced to the court but 
even then if such party adverse party is not producing in that case secondary evidence may be given the third one when it appears or is proved that the adversary has obtained possession of the original by fraud or force now the adverse party if it has taken the document or the document is in the possession of the adverse party with some fraud or force activity in that case without notice a secondary evidence may be given the fourth one when the adverse party or his agent has the original in the court in that case the party cannot do anything now here also secondary evidence may be given without notice because it is already in the court that's the fourth opportunity where secondary evidence may be given without notice the fifth one when the adverse party or his agent has admitted the loss of the document now when the adverse party itself says that the original is been lost or the primary evidence is lost in that case without notice here the word admission is very important they have already admitted in that case without giving any notice secondary evidence may be given the last one that is the sixth exception is when the person in possession of the document is out of reach or not subject to the process of the court in that case as the person is not in reach or not coming under the subject to the court the exception is available to give secondary evidence without giving any notice these are the six important exceptions that we need to remember now let's go through the provision quickly as we have already discussed in length about both section 65 clause a and section 66 i am not going to spend too much time here but here i have given both section 66 and section 65 along with clause a for the purpose of notes now if you read the first four lines which says secondary evidence of the contents of the documents referred to in section 65 clause a now that is very important shall not be given unless the party proposing to give such secondary evidence has previously given to the party in whose possession or power of the document is or to his attorney or pleader such notice to produce it as is prescribed by law and if no notice is prescribed by law then such notice as the court considers reasonable under the circumstances of the case now this is the requirement which says if there is any secondary evidence is produced as discussed under section 65 clause a then we have to give notice and then it also discusses about six exceptions which are available here also now that's all we need to know about section 66 oh if you scare us we will go away kishan what's happening there nothing papa with that i'm concluding this session please subscribe our channel Please like share and comment our videos thank you bye bye